make sacred pact. I promise teach karate that to my part. You promise learn. I say you do. No question. That to your part. Deal? Steal? This. Fast wash all the car. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. Wax on, wax off. Wax on. I'm all the way up. Hey! What up guys, Jake Dreamo, and today I'm doing a little bit of exploring. Now, normally I usually in this channel do focus on dioramas, focus on like repainting some, some props, creating some props, um, maybe repainting some, some figures, but uh, mostly that's where I tend to show you guys what I know. Now, just like you guys, I mean, I'm also curious and I'm always consistently trying to learn and learn and learn. So YouTube is my educator for exploring more avenues that I don't know. So today's one that I'm gonna be exploring that I don't know. For those of you guys that, that know my collection, you know, I tend to mix my collection with other iconic props that represent that genre, you know. So vehicles are one of them. Um, so like my Terminator one, you know, I got Arnold on the motorcycle, John, I got you know, John Connor on on a dirt bike. You diorama, you put some some props, put those some figures, go crazy, and you like kind of rebuild the scene. So, so I came across an item, and it was a really good deal. And the only thing is that it's not in the color that I wanted. But let me show you what I have right here. All right, guys. So as you can see right here, this is a 1948. Ford convertible. You guys remember in the Karate Kid movie, you know, Daniel san is learning from Mr. Miyagi on how to do wax on, wax off. And the car that he's working on is that 1948 Ford convertible, but it's that special edition yellow. It's like a mellow yellow. So this is the same car. It's just that it's not a mellow yellow, it's in black. So I'm curious on repainting this guy. That's basically what this video is about. Now, you're like, well, whatever, it's repainting. No, not really, this is different. This is a die cast. So, I wanna understand is basically how to paint this because technically, you would actually strip it down. You strip off all the paint, the clear coat, the base coat, and just start off with the prime. What I'm doing is I'm just going on YouTube and I'm just kind of exploring how people repaint the die casts. So this is uncharted territory. I've never done this to you know a car and a die cast car. So I think I'm fucking crazy because this is this is uh, <laughs> this is gonna take some patience. I could tell already. I could tell already. I saw some videos and I was like, damn, am I really gonna put myself to do this right now? But this is a lot more doable right now at the moment than building a dial, especially that I don't have any space and I'm moving soon. So this is a project I want to give myself. It's a personal project and it'll be in a nice addition for my Karate Kid collection. The challenge here is repainting this car. So that's it, guys. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so first step is start dismantling it. So, Attempt to find where the main screws are at. Here, 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 here. Wish me luck. So 
So I'm using the Drubble just to kind of see if it makes my experience a lot more easier. Um, it's very time consuming because you have to be careful with these areas. Um, the trimmings are being they're sealed by this glue. So, so to remove it, I'm thinking about using this Drubble to um, remove some of that glue part. Let's see what happens. You gotta be patient. You gotta go inch by inch because you don't want to break. You don't want to break the trimming. Alrighty, so here's everything broken down piece by piece, completely stripped down. So now this is going to make my life easier because now I can actually paint the actual body, <clears throat> the trunk, the door, the hood as is and not worry about masking anything really. So this is going to be an actual pretty straightforward build. I'm excited. So the next step <clears throat> to this project from what I'm learning, I need to sand down the paint. So this is my 140, and basically I'm just gonna just start, start sanding down the previous paint job. What I'll do is that I'm gonna sand this down, all of it, uh, in regards to like the, the exterior of the car, not, not anything relating to the interior, or like the chrome but just where I want to paint so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand the whole thing down clean it then prime it give it two layers of prime and then go about painting it yellow so I sanded down all the body parts and here's one already kind of uh, already primed so this one has two layers looks really good very even um. so right now you're catching me playing with two with two different directions on how to apply the paint now the reason why I'm being very picky about this is because you gotta understand that this is different. This is this is a, a die cast. So the way you paint this is totally different than the way you paint a diorama or figurines. Here I'm going with two directions. Now one direction that I went with, so I couldn't find like Tamika's uh, paint that is real specific to the color that I'm looking for. So I found an alternative, and I'm here using this is Apple. Apple barrel paint from Walmart uses like like fifty something cents. Use you can use regular acry acrylic paint, but you will have to buy a thinner. So I bought here the Tamika thinner to use on my airbrush, and it worked. Be aware of is drying is a little bit more slower, and you're gonna be p putting more coats on this to get the thickness that you want. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but here I can still see some metal, so another layer will be required. Same here, and this is already two coats, so that's something to keep in mind. An alternative that I found was I found a spray paint, a satin finish, and this is the result. Right now, this came out really good. I'm not complaining at all and it has to shine so it's one less step in painting this and it dries faster now this is also two coats so i'm gonna go in this i'm gonna go in this direction 
This will save me a lot of time and a lot of headache. learning a lesson environments are very important so here I am here's a result of one of the doors is coming out really nice it's not bad having a very air sealed environment when you're painting it's very important me just because I got excited I was painting in the backyard and it's raining so some droplets fell on the paint Stuff like that annoys me, but you know, this is where you learn, right? Same thing happened to this one, and it was worse, so I had to sand it down again. I'm gonna prime it all over again, and I'm gonna do it all over again. This is the price of learning, but now I understand. Now, then the final step that I want to do this is an additional touch that you don't really have to do, but I want to do is I want to now put the clear glaze, you can use a clear coat, gloss coat. Can use resin but i'm using this one so i'm gonna spray it let it dry and then once it starts drying assemble it started painting the inner side and the inside of the tires so i did it to all of them and came out pretty good came out pretty good All right guys, and so now we're getting close to the finish line here. The next step, it's literally assembling it. So here I'm assembling it. Now the only thing is that <clears throat> these type of pieces need to be glued. Here are the inserts for those trimmings. So earlier you saw me kind of drill them off. Now I gotta re-add them like it hold but the next step is putting all the trimmings and assembling it and then reveal Da -da -da. Here it is guys. Here's my 1948 Ford convertible that I converted it into the Ford uh, Super Deluxe uh, convertible. The difference is, is that the yellow version was a special edition. So um, it's rare. And I didn't know this. Actually, I, I found out about this when I was researching uh, this car and man it was it's really rare to find one and especially uh, the die cast doesn't exist got an original uh, Ford convertible 1948 and then I painted it yellow so now with the super deluxe edition so but yeah this this piece right here is such an icon for me you know I watched the Karate Kid since I was a little kid also when I think about the movie that scene where he's teaching him how to do wax on wax off this car is part of that moment and I just felt like it I needed to have this piece uh, for this collection so but yeah guys I also wanted to show you guys that you know like I didn't I don't know how to paint die casts and did some YouTubing learned and applied it and the result I mean 
I can't ask for more. I'm pretty happy with this. You remove everything, you prime it. Um, well, let me repeat that. You know, you remove everything, you sand it down, then you, you know, wash it, prime it, the paints, uh, give it the base coat, and then you give it a clear coat. And that's it. Now, the one thing that I was struggling with, it was just that because this requires a lot of patience, if you really don't respect that, you you can get some bad results uh, in regards to um, like sanding and then getting some getting an even like plane so that you don't see any errors now I'll expose some mistakes that I've done here uh, in the back right here if you noticed my sanding wasn't consistent right here so uh, the reveal shows you here some little looks like a little dimple there um, that's the same thing when you when you when you um, repaint a car you know if you don't do the sanding correctly correctly when you when you paint it it will reveal the mistakes so that's probably the the biggest thing that i would say if you guys want to try something like this is if you really want it to come out like perfect you need to take time in sanding and making sure that it comes out good so and um here's mr miyagi to give you some scale you know, so he's like six, seven inches, actually seven inches. So he must be like around five inches. So just to give you, look at that. Here it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please write a comment, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. All right, guys. Peace.